All right, what's up? Welcome to your next Fusion tutorial. So in this tutorial, I am going to show you some combined sketching techniques. We'll go over dimensions, we'll go over referencing from dimensions, um, we'll use mirroring because this is symmetrical. I don't want to have to draw both sides of it. It'll save me a lot of time to just uh, draw one side. And let's get into it. So I've already drawn out this uh, sketch here to match what I have in my schematic. Uh, in the packet. So uh, let's go ahead and get going. I am going to activate this parent component and then under that I'm going to create a new component called tennis. I will name it the same uh, thing that's in the packet. Um, I'm going to ignore this previous one and I'm going to turn it off using the little I. And now this component is active and I'm ready to sketch. So create sketch. We are already in top view. So I will click once uh, to accept that. And then now I will start drawing my dimensions. So first I'm going to grab a construction line or turn on construction and then use my line tool. So click L on the keyboard. I'm going to come over here and I am going to go up 5.38 because that's what it says in the packet for our dimension. Next, I'll hit L again. I'm going to hover and reference from this top point, come out just a little bit, 2.13 down. Drag this out of the way. Hit my line tool. Go down one. Drag this out of the way. Hit my line tool again, go to the top of that one that we just drew, and another 2.13. All right, awesome. So I have all my dimensions mapped out. They are out of the way, clearly legible. I'll use my line tool again, and now I'm going to come up here. I am making sure to draw on this green Y axis as I do this. I'm going to come up to about 7.5 so that I'm very well clear of these other dimensions because I know the model is going to be around this tall. So up here at the top, 5.5. Drag this into view so I can see it. Next, I'll hit my line tool again. And if we look at this blueprint here, we do not know how wide these are the length from here to here on either side. So what I'm going to do is start from the middle because we do know that. So I can find the midpoint of this line that is 5.5 by hovering over it. And then as soon as I see an X and a triangle, I know I'm at the center of that line. I'll keep hovering and come straight down. And then I'll come over and draw 0.88. Use my line tool again. And my next dimension is 1.25 off of the end of this one or off the end of this 0.88. So 1.25. Oops, I hit enter. That's okay. I can still change this, even though I accepted it already. Great. So now I have those dimensions mapped out as well. These are all the dimensions that I need for right now because I don't have to go to the effort of drawing these other ones on the other side. We're just going, going to draw half of it and then mirror it across. So I will start with my circle tool or C on my keyboard. I'm going to turn off construction because now I want to make lines that are actually part of my drawing. And I'm going to find where that 1.25 and that 0.88 meet. Because as we see here, the middle of that circle aligns with those. And then the middle of the circle also aligns with the top of this 5.38. So I'm going to find that dimension right there, come down, still hovering, come over here. It will remember the last thing that I referenced from. So when I come over here, it'll snap in. And then this circle is 0.63. In our drawing over here, we see five times 0.63, one, two, three, four, five. So I know that this circle must also be 0.63. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is draw a bigger circle and that's what's going to give us this arc. A bigger circle with the same center point. 
the inside of that circle is just cut out. So I will now draw that circle. Press C on my keyboard to shortcut to that command. And that had a diameter of 1.75. Cool. I have both of these drawn. I'm going to drag these dimensions out to somewhere where they are more easily read. Now I'm going to grab my line tool. We are going to make a line that comes down from the outside of the circle. We're going to fill it this to make this corner rounded in just a little bit. For right now, I'm going to come straight down to the top of this dimension of one and then straight over to the edge of this 5.5 dimension. So I am making a 90 degree angle and then we will round that in a moment. So I'm going to hover over the center point of my circle, come straight over, meet the edge of the circle, click to start my line. Now remember I wanted to go to the top of that one dimension. So over here, it will show me where the top of that is. I'm still just hovering. I haven't clicked to select the other point of my line or the end point. And then I'm going to come along that until it snaps into 90 degrees, put the line down, and then use this dimension or the edge of that dimension to set my other point. Great, I'll hit escape to exit the command. So now I can fill it that to a radius of, I believe it was one. Let me go back and check. Yeah, radius of one. Okay, so now L on my keyboard to select my line tool again. I'm gonna come off the edge of this I know it needs to go down to this end point of the one dimension. Click to accept. And finally, I will draw half of this very top line. So hover over the middle of my circle, come straight up until I meet the edge of the circle. Come up here to the end of that 0.88 because I know that is the center of my drawing. And then as soon as it snaps into zero degrees, and if it's not snapping in easily for you, just hit tab and then hit zero. I'll hit enter to accept that line. Great. So now, just to make things easier as we go on in the future, I'm going to hit construction line, hit L on my keyboard to make a line. I know that this is the center of my sketch, so I'm going to make a construction line that comes straight down like that. I'll press escape to finish. So this later will act as our mirror line or our line of symmetry that we will mirror across to make the other side. So next I will grab my line tool again and I am going to make a line here on the bottom. Now I'm going to make a line on the bottom so that I can clearly see where the bottom of my drawing is. So I'll press enter to accept that. Grab my line tool again, turn construction off so I can make some real lines. And then I am going to come down and meet this line, but I'm going to hit tab on my keyboard and type in 45. As I decrease the angle, it came off of the line. That's totally fine. Let's just go back and meet it and then click in order to set the line down. Awesome. So it made a 45 degree angle on the inside, but it also made a 45 degree angle on the outside because if this was a 90 degree between vertical, we have 45 and another 45, which makes 90. If I want to double check that, I can always sketch dimension from this line to this line and say, yep, that is 45 also, which we wanted in our blueprint here. So 45 degrees from this horizontal. Awesome. So I only really have a couple more things to do before I mirror. Um, one of the last things that I will do is make this bottom line that goes from that endpoint to the middle or that center line. It's not snapping in easily for me, so I'm going to tab and hit zero degrees. Press enter to finish the command. I don't really need this line anymore, so I'm going to delete it. And I can actually see that it did not make that previous line. Um, so let's try that again. There we go. Okay, 
Great. So now let's do the trimming of this inner circle. So I'll just hit T on my keyboard to shortcut to the trim command, trim the uh, inner part of that circle. And now I have half of my drawing done. So I am going to hit the mirror command. And if I want to quickly select all these lines that are connected, just hover over one till it highlights and then double click and it will select all of the geometry that's connected to it. I also want to mirror this circle. So I will grab that as well. It's, I will go down and hit select for my mirror line. I want it to mirror over that center line that we made and now I'm going to hit OK. So now we have most of this done. Um, I just need to add some of these other little circles. So this circle is halfway down this one. Now we know how to easily reference from the center of a line. So that's what I'm going to do in order to make that circle. And then I'm going to make this circle right along that midline that we made and at the bottom uh, dimension of 2.13. So let's go ahead and do that. So I know I want to be halfway across this dimension of one. I will hover and keep that blue checked line. And then it also wants that to be at the end of that 1.25 dimension here. So I've referenced from that previous one already. I'm going to come up here, hover over this, come straight down until I snap into both. So now that I switch things up, it doesn't seem to remember. So I'll come over here and reference again. There we go. Okay. 0.63. Now for our next uh, circle, I'll use my circle tool. We know it's going to be the bottom of this 2.13 and this midline. That's also going to be 0.63. And then last, that big middle circle. So that is also halfway through that dimension of one and right in that uh, midline. So there we go. And then as soon as I hit that midline, I can click to set down my circle. And that has a diameter of two because it says it has a radius of one. So we just double that to get a diameter of two. Okay, now I'm going to use the trim tool to trim out the inside of both of these so that when we mirror it across, I don't end up with doubles. So now mirror, select the things that are not mirrored across yet, select my mirror line, which is that line. Everything seems to have mirrored and I am done with my drawing. So. I have all my dimensions here and I'm completely finished. All of these little things are constraints. So if you want to get rid of those so that you can see more clearly um, what you did and the dimensions, come over here to your sketch palette and turn off constraints, which is right here. So now I can see everything a little bit better. All right, that's the end of that tutorial. So we went through, um, using uh, construction lines and drawing our dimensions first before we actually did any drawing of our own. And then we reference from those to make half of our drawing. And then after that, we mirrored our drawing across to complete the model since both sides are symmetrical. So um, that is it for this tutorial.